all right now let's see how to use xilinx simulator for doing the simulation if you have xilinx on your windows setup then you can open the tool using the shortcut icon from the desktop and if you're using any linux platform then you can invoke the tool using the command isc okay this is going to invoke the tool now once the tool is invoked you will see this is the gui interface of the tool so this is called as the isc project navigator so let me take you through the steps how exactly we do the simulation and synthesis now before i do the same let me tell you xilinx has its built in simulator called as isim with the help of isim i'll be doing a simulation and it has its own synthesizer that is xilinx synthesizer through which we'll be doing the synthesis all right now let me take you through the steps that we do here we click on file and we'll create a new project and then you provide the proper location so in my case i have selected the proper location for example i have selected my working directory in that the sim directory and you provide the name in this case i will provide alu that is the project name then click on next after that you will see the project setting window here you have to make sure that you configure the device so here i have configured family to spartan 6 device i have chosen followed by package followed by speed grade and the synthesis tool you can see by default set to xsp simulator is set to isim and the preferred language is verilog so all those things once it is set then you click on next and then you click on finish now once the device setting has been done it will come to this view you can see by default the view will be selected to implementation mode now what you have to do since we are going to do the simulation first select the view mode to simulation and then we will be adding the source code over here so we will do the right click then you click on add source and you browse to the location where you have your rtl source code and pb code so from the rtl i'm selecting the alu then click okay you can see here the alu rtl has been added here under the project directory and then i will also add the test bench code this is my alu test bench click okay okay so now i can see here the tb is the topmost module in that you have the alu that is the design okay now what i'll do i will skip the tb now after this what we will do we will start the simulation process and we will make sure that tb is selected because that's a test bench which is going to simulate the design and below you can see the isim simulator you can click on simulate behavioral model so this is going to perform the compilation followed by elaboration followed by simulation and it's going to invoke the waveform editor now you can see here the this is a waveform window followed by below you have the transcript window where you can see the monitor result now in the waveform let's see how the result has come so for that you can undock it that by click on floating and then you can adjust the window so that you can use a magnifier to adjust the same you can see here we have the 
input and the outputs here. Basically, these are the test bench variables which you see here. And you can select the radix to unsign by right clicking, click on radix. Okay, so that it will come in a decimal format, unsign value. Now we can check the different combinations. So for example, here opcode is zero. Opcode zero means it is an add operation. Now, if you look at the operands when it is 20 and 40, the sum is 60. And here the opcode is eight. That shows the function seven bit is one, that is subtraction. So 20 minus 40 is minus 20. This two's complement has been stored over here. Now next time when again I'm changing opcode to zero, it is again adding between 60 and 50, that is 110. So this is how you can verify that your ALU design is working properly. Okay, once you complete the simulation process, we will do the synthesis. And we'll go back to the IEC product navigator and switch the view mode to implementation mode for the synthesis process. So when you switch to implementation mode, you can only view the ALU RTL design over here which is the top module and then you select the design and below you see the option synthesize so that you have to select right click and click on run this is going to initiate the process of synthesis so once it completes we will make sure that there are no errors and if there are any warning messages we have to fix the same once that is clean then we will go and view the schematic now you can see here the synthesis process has been completed successfully and you get a green check here. So when you expand this and you click on view RTL schematic, then it will ask you to select the viewer mode. You start with the schematic of the top level block that should be selected. Click OK. And here it shows you the black box of the ALU design where you see the input and output ports. Then you double click on it then use the magnifier and adjust it so that you can see the internal components which shows you that the schematic you can also right click and you can float it okay so this is basically the artist schematic of the alu rtl which you have written okay so a lot of components have been created over here you can see depending on the type of alu operations all right so this is what we have to complete for this ALU starting from simulation till synthesis. I'm sure you understood the flow how to do the same using Xilinx so that we can continue the next one that is the integer file in our next video.